I feel like I talk about mistakes every single episode. I'm Kylie G. Welcome to my little corner of the interweb where I talk all things knitting. Today is Sunday the 19th of March and it has been a hot minute since I've been here. I am so sorry but sometimes life gets in the way and fun gets, having fun gets in the way. Anyway, all that to say, thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a couple of things I want to cover. Well, more than a couple, because, you know, I love to chat knitting. So first things first, we have a winner for the favorite sweater giveaway, which I will announce in a little bit. And the prize for that is a skein of gorgeous Aussie yarn and some Aussie swag. Um, I will send that anywhere in the world and that's been drawn about two minutes ago. So up until, you know, this next recording, that little competition has been live. Um, I don't have a finished object, which is incredibly disappointing, but I have a terrible case of cast on iris. So there's a bit to get through. It's Sunday. I've got loads to get done today after I record this and I want to get this edited and up as quickly as possible. So let's dive right in. A little bit of admin -y stuff. Where can you find me? I am Kylie G on Instagram, Kylie G on Ravelry. They're the two places I'm most active. I haven't gone to the trouble of setting up a group for this podcast on Ravelry yet, but we'll be doing that in the next little while, I think, as I call for test knitters for my sock pattern. My gosh. Um, but more about that a little bit later for those of you who don't want to be here for the designy pattern chat. Okay, where shall I start? G'day. It's Tuesday night, Kylie G here. I'm coming to you from the floor of my craft room where I am sitting because the light's good and I don't have to do too much to set up very, very quickly to record something really important that I forgot to mention when I recorded the episode on Sunday. So two days ago. I'm about to sit down and edit that and put it all together and make it sort of make some sort of sense and pop pictures in where it says I'm supposed to pop pictures in. All that palaver that goes with owning a podcast or running a podcast. But I forgot to tell you. I have put together a slideshow of all of the jumpers, all of the sweaters that you guys recommended when you entered the giveaway for the Aussie wine. Aussie wine. Already in slip much. Aussie yarn and Australian swag giveaway that I did in the last episode. So, all that to tell you, there are some fabulous, fabulous sweater patterns in there that I recommend you take the time to look at. Um, I'll pop it at the end of the video. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll play it at the end to give you some real inspiration so you can stop and write names down, do a little bit of Google searching yourself on Ravelry or Lovecraft or wherever it is that you buy your patterns. But what I will say to you, the two top designers that were mentioned by you guys were for an, across a number of different patterns were Andrea Mary and Petite Knit. And their favourites, obviously, for a reason. Their patterns are super, super stunning. If you've never knit a sweater and would really like to, there are a couple of pretty cool options in that montage that would suffice beautifully. 
there's some bulky sweaters, there's some fingering weight, there's colour work, there's fingering and mohair, there's casual, there's dressy, there's you name it, it's in there. So I strongly suggest that you take the time to sit down and go through it. So I think it's about three and a half minutes worth. So really encourage you to have a good look at that. Um, I've told you the two favourite patterns, but anyway, yeah. This is, Kylie, this is Tuesday Night Kylie signing off and heading off to sit down and edit that video so that I can get it up on YouTube for you guys to enjoy. And I will see you again. I promise I didn't say this in the episode that I recorded either. I will see you again in two weeks. Okay. Take care. Happy knitting. And if you don't love it, stop knitting it. See ya. Small note to mention. No shopping. There's no shopping this week. This episode. It's episode 17 and I think I've only had two episodes. This one and one other where I did no shopping. Rest assured though, there's stuff on its way. God. Not loads, but indulgent. I'll leave that for the next episode. Okay, let's dive right in. What have I been knitting? My hair's driving me a little bit nuts today. Um, okay. <clears throat> now, I mentioned this last episode, which was a hot minute ago, and mentioned and said that it was actually my new obsession. And it is such a fabulous knit. I cannot speak highly enough of it. I would like to say I'm not the sort of person who knits a pattern twice, but that's not true because I did the half and half twice. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've done the Masoni twice in two different styles. But I can see me knitting another one of these super soon. This is the Habitation Throw. Habitation Throw? Isn't it funny how you know the name of something and then the minute you sit down to talk about it, it, the design name leaves your head. Anthology Throw. There is also a Habitation Throw. So this is the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. Knit, um, done in her beautiful row by row pattern grid style that has been painted, painted or copyrighted. Anyway, she's one of the only few who do that sort of tick through um, pattern style. She does it for all of them, um, even her socks, which is great. So look at this soft, squishy gorgeousness. Oh, that's another thing I've got on my needles, which is, gosh, what mess. So this has been made using um, a stack of leftover yarn. Now, I tried really hard to do the whole random thing and just follow my heart. Hopefully, I edited out that incredibly <coughs> ugly sneeze. <coughs> oh, Lord. And I didn't bring a drink with me. Um, I tried, as I was saying, I tried really, really hard to do the whole random use colours when you want to use them kind of thing and failed miserably miserably so what did I do I've kind of sort of done a bit of a fade I just picked up and started knitting kind of randomly on a whim which is how I do most of my casts on cast ons I try really hard to plan stuff and I'm you know I go where the whim takes me. This is, this color here is a bare knit picks. I 
think it's the Capretta. This is a Dingo Dye Works leftover from Deep Deep Stash. Um, one of the first, actually the first hand dyed yarn I ever bought. Pretty sure. This is Lolo Did It leftovers. As is this and as is this. This is a, another Knit Picks leftover. And then I'm finishing off with my all time favorite Lolo Did It color, Folsom and the plush sock. Now it's really hard to show you this pattern in all its gloriousness. Why? Because I currently have, wait for it, 1152 stitches on the needles. Yep. I increased to that yesterday morning while I was having my morning coffee, then promptly put it down because I felt incredibly overwhelmed. So, um, just ready to cast something else on. Now, the pattern is telling me that I'm 85% there. Yeah, 85% there. So, I have knit almost exclusively on this for the last three weeks at least. And what do I love about it so much? It's super squishy. It's knit 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 with a little bit of interest every couple of rows it is fabulous for brainless knitting you know at the end of the work day or at the end of the day when you really just don't have anything left in the tank but you need to keep your hands busy in that half hour before you crawl into bed and give up on the day that's that this is that kind of knitting, um, which is why very similar to the half and half wrap in that it's just knitting. Um, it's a circle, um, the circle shape throw um, can be difficult. Some people have said it's difficult to work out what they're gonna do with it. But these colors match my couch beautifully. So I can see this sitting over the back of my couch so that I get to look at it all the time so, and squish on it and stuff. So, and this is this only the second decor item I've ever knit, which has got me thinking that I'd like to knit more, like some throw pillows and stuff. So, um, which is probably far more practical for somebody who lives in the tropics and knits with wool. But anyway, all that to say, um, I was actually, it's taken me three weeks, four weeks maybe, to get to here. So that's where I was last time. So it's a lot of knitting, but it's so much fun. Obsessed, obsessed. And, you know, who knows, might be finished next time I talk to you, might not. But I've decided I'm just going to back off on the pressure of finishing because I'm letting it frustrate me and it shouldn't. So I knit for fun, I knit for joy. Finishing is necessary to the process, but not essential. Well, come on, it is essential. It, it'll drive me nuts at one point and I'll go on a finishing rampage. So there we go. Loving that, really, really loving that. Now in the background over here, you might notice a finish, um, a, a shawl, scarf, that I knit a long time ago. Um, all of the details for this are on my Ravelry page, which I will put here, and I think it's the Fifth Avenue Fifth Avenue Shaw. All that to say, great knit. Probably one of the, it's the shawl I pick up the most when I'm heading out. Um, 
because I'm gonna do this to see if I can keep my hair back off my face. It's driving me nuts. Um, the thing I love about that, it, it, the colors that I've chosen, um, I did with guidance, looking at other people's projects on Ravelry and it, it's just a go-to. The colors actually remind me of a spree, which is a, I don't know if it's an international design or, or clothing line, but certainly here in Australia, and it's just that fun sort of sporty, which is kind of funny because, you know, I haven't been sporty for a very long time, but it's sort of fun, sporty, bright, it's in fingering weight and all of the yarnies Lola did it. I've the green, the breakfast at Tiffany's colorway, which is the green and gray you can see. I've used the leftovers of that in my habitation throw, anthology throw. I get the two mixed up. Anthology, sorry. So yeah. Highly, highly recommend it. It's a fun knit because you're always doing, it's just like one more row because you're gonna change colors and you change the knit pattern and then you, yeah, it's fun, super fun. Okay, what's next? Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me call this a shit show. Well, this is my oh, what's it called? It's the Still Water Cardigan by Marie Green. Forget everything else I said before. Now I got down to I finished the body. Wasn't that great of me? Finished the body, cast off. Followed the directions, so I thought, cast off and then knit the whole sleeve. Look at that. This is going to be such a cosy sweater. That's all blocked and done. And of course, we're heading into our winter, although you wouldn't know it today. It's monsoonal weather out there again today raining and hot and muggy so got the sleeve done and as i'm getting closer to the end of the sleeve i'm thinking the end of the bottom of this cardigan's curling up that's gonna drive me friggin nuts might block out then i went and took the time to look at the pictures again and I'd finished the whole thing and not done the ribbing. I didn't do any ribbing. And I thought, that's really strange that there's no ribbing in the bottom of this cardigan. But hey, you know, it looks great. I trust the designer. So I pulled it out, which is on my Instagram. And if I can, I'll pop a grab in here of me ripping it out. I just sat on the back deck and it was... I called it the shit show. So I pulled it back. I got it all back on the needle and then did this. And put it away. So to give you an idea of how much I pulled out, this much, all of that had been knit. So it ended up in the naughty corner for a little bit because, well, it just did. So I'm almost finished this. I've got a sleeve, ribbing and neckband to go. So all the, all the massive pearl rows are done, really. Anyway, like I said, no pressure on finishing, just loving the process. That's what we're doing, we're loving the process. So, hot mess number two. I feel like I talk about mistakes every single episode. Yeah, 
but you know I like to think I'm a better knitter <laughs> maybe I'm not as good a knitter as I thought anyway I love it so there you go so that's whip number two I've got three more and that's not including the ones I haven't worked on that I'm not going to show you oh god such a great podcaster okay so everybody knows that Andrew Mary is having a March to May knit along right right so I spent a lot of time last weekend casting on the little yellow sweater. <laughs> now there's something kind of major missing from this whip and that would be the needles. Just, you know, in case you missed it. <laughs> so, I, um, I've already knit this cardigan once. I'll put a photo here or here of how far I got. I was about to do the neckband and realised my stitch counts were way off, way off. So in a moment of absolute madness, I ripped the whole thing out. This is a fingering weight sweater knit at a pretty fine gauge. Aren't Andrew Mary's patterns lovely? Um, Twenty-eight stitch gauge. I'm not little. I knit the whole thing. That's a lot of stitches. And I just ripped the whole thing out. So, <clears throat> note to those who make errors in their knitting. It's okay to fix them, but you don't have to go back to the beginning. <laughs> it's okay to fix them, but you don't have to go back to the beginning. <laughs> it's as I say, not as I do. Um, and then, so with the March to May knit along, I got, I thought, you know what? That sweater quantity of La Biena May Cash Merino in the yellow brick road colorway, which she is infamous for, is super stunning and needs to be knit. So what better time to do it than in the March to May knit along with Andrew Mowry. I did the tubular cast on. I took the time to do that twice because you know that's how I roll I don't know that I've done a fabulous job and I will do it on the other sleeve but I don't know that I'll do it on the body I just I, I know it looks fabulous but on the sleeves like you can get away with you know it's it's noticeable. I'd, I'll see. Not sure that I'll do that. I'll go to the trouble on the body of the garment. And why have I pulled the needles out? Because I think my gauge is way off. Actually, I know my gauge is way off. So I need to rip back down to the cuff and start again. Because it's a bit that's going to end up being way too big. So at least I've addressed it. 
one inch into the sleeve and not 110 inches into the whole knit garment. Right? Am I right? So I pulled that out because I wanted the needles for something else and I needed to change them anyway. So that happened last night because cast on itis. So there you go, little yellow sweater. Now I'm not going to do the baubles, the bubbles on it. Let me show you a picture. You see it's got little baubles here. I'm actually not going to do those. I think what I'm going to do is black beads. I know, right? It's going to be so pretty. And I would, I would only wear this with black anyway, I think. And then black beads and then black buttons. Anyway. So you know you're going to finish something when you can imagine it finished, right? You know, it's kind of, kind of cool. So I'll pull this out because I need to... Does your knitting bag look like that? This, of course, is a Hohe & Co. It's the Grocery Girls one. And I love it. It's actually my new favourite. Let's see if I can tangle myself here. So often when I sit down to podcast, I try and get everything perfect before I do. And invariably my podcasts come across as fairly... Um, Fairly casual anyway, so there is no perfect, it's a little bit like having children, there is no perfect time to do this. So now that's got two sets of needles in it for a reason, but I'll explain that in a little while. So that's that. Now it's all on the floor. My next project, I feel like I'm whipping through these a little bit quickly, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, I always seem to have a shawl on the go. I like to have a shawl on the go. Um, it's what I first started knitting. And I don't know, my love for it, it just remains. So, if you remember, a little while ago, I was really silly. No, that's not it. I, here it is. I was really silly and ordered from Netpix some bare yarn that is merino, cashmere and silk. Right? It's called, the base is Aristo, but it's lace weight. I'm like, what on God's green earth am I going to do with lace weight yarn? Um, and this is so squishy and soft. And then in the week, this pattern was released. It is the... It's really, really bad. It's the Smilga. Milga pattern by IC Knits. I'll pop a picture here or here of the shawl in its gorgeous colour, but it calls for lace weight yarn held double in a yak. So they need something kind of soft. They don't recommend superwash and I don't, this isn't super wash, I don't think, because it, nitpicks would say it's super wash on the, on the, um, on the band. So I don't, this is not super wash. Well, it may be, but it doesn't say so. Um, so I cast this on last night and I am loving, I've can't see if you can see. So um, I'm loving the cute cable pattern. Something different. I love a nice cable. 
And there's something about cable knit in a bear or cream colored yarn that's just so pretty. So in typical Kylie fashion, I got to about here and realized my numbers were off. So this also has been knit twice. It is the season of knitting things twice, I think. Maybe that's the title for this episode. Things you want to knit twice without really knowing you do. Um, this yarn is so soft and squishy. It is just divine. Really, really love it. Um, and thank God for an electronic ball winder, electric ball winder, because I just stood here and played on Instagram while I wound it. It was great. So that is also in my another Ho He and Co bag. This I think is the pamper bucket. Love. Let's get to the fun part where we talk to talk about who was the lucky lady who won the um, Yarn. And hold please. Okay, so little bit of anticipation here. The person who's like who um I'm going to be jetting this gorgeous Aussie yarn and Aussie goody pack two said her favorite sweater was the winter league pullover now i'll pop a picture here of the winter league pullover it's knit in bulky weight it's um in and the suggested yarn is lion brand and the lucky winner is Debbie Denny. Yay. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie said um, she wanted a sweatshirt type of sweater. Um, and this fit the bill for her and certainly did. So Debbie Denny, can you please email me at I am Kylie G at gmail.com and give me your full address and I will pop your gift in the or your prize in the post so one other thing please Debbie can you tell me would you prefer pinks or earth tones they seem to be the two colors that I have in stock so in stock <laughs> well it is in stock, isn't it? So um, I will I will cherry pick one of my um, gorgeous Aussie yarns to send to you with love. So next week's next episode's giveaway. I am interested to know, have you knit any homewares? And if you have, what is your favorite homeware pattern? So it could be a cushion, it could be a throw, it could be a, um, a dishcloth, your favorite dishcloth pattern, rug, whatever, home, home, wear anything that's not a garment that you would use around the house pop the comment pop into the comments hashtag home and the name of the pattern i will pull together a slideshow of the patterns that are suggested and a giveaway this time will be some of my favorite notions and sock yarn yes aussie sock yarn of course so 
to enter into the prize draw this time round for my favourite notions and Aussie sock yarn. Pop in the comments below, hashtag home and your favourite homeware pattern, decor item, home use pattern. Okay? Because I'm thinking I'm going to need a little bit more of that stuff. Okay. Next up. If you're not here, if you're not interested in any of the uh, designy chat or talking about my upcoming sock pattern, thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you later. But in the interim, but if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. And oh my giddy aunt, I have found this whole design process um, incredibly challenging. It's it's stretching my knitting muscles. It's working my knitting muscles and my the way I think and changing the way I look at knitting. And it, it's been an an absolute eye opener. Um, the pattern is still in tech editing. And um, I've had the first edit come back, which is great. So, but as I said to you, when I first started talking about this sock pattern, um, I really just, because this is my first pattern, I'm wanting to take the time to make sure I'm learning the process properly. All that being said, once you start down this, design rabbit hole wow your brain starts to think and see patterns where you wouldn't necessarily see patterns before or inspiration you know you see inspiration everywhere so I um I started and this is this is how it starts it's not pretty <laughs> I'll show you this side actually because I don't want to give away the don't want to give away the farm. So it's um interesting that you know this is sort of this is how it happens. It's this is the this may or may not be the next design. It may or may not end up looking like anything. But it's been fun. That was an evening of knitting. So that's probably why I haven't got any finished objects because I keep going down these design, little design rabbit holes. So, so there you go. Now the sock design I'm talking about being in testing is this sock. Um, it is... Um, the pattern has been written from babies to large adults, so five sizes, six sizes. So one pattern for the whole family, um, which is why it's taking a little bit longer, I think. Well, no, that's not why it's taking a bit longer, it's just taking, it's, it's taking the time it's taking. Um, it has a name and I'm going to be looking for test knitters in the next little while. So if you are interested in knitting, test knitting this pattern for me, um, please email me at imkylieg at gmail.com and I will pop you onto a, a list of people who are interested in knitting the, in test knitting the pattern. So if you are interested in test knitting this for me, that'd be great. Um, it will be a couple of weeks, but um, I need to start gathering some names now. And I'll pop you onto a list, send you some information, and um, we'll, we'll start a conversation. Yeah. 
So there you go. So pattern number one, almost done. Pattern number two on the needles. And I've got ideas for about half a dozen more. Frightening. It could all be for naught. <laughs> These patterns may not resonate with anybody and if they don't, well, you know, they don't. It's been fun, I've learnt a lot and polished up my maths a lot because, you know, maths is a thing. Anyway, no shopping. So I think I'm going to leave it there today. Hope to get this edited in the next day or so. I'm heading out to lunch with a girlfriend that I haven't seen in forever. It's Sunday afternoon, so I'm thinking I might have myself a salad and a glass of Prosecco. Are you jealous? Don't be, because it's raining here. Okay. Couple of jobs for you to do. Jobs, favours, whatever. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content and want to be um, notified when there is another episode uploaded, which I promise will happen more regularly, please hit the subscribe button. YouTube like that too. Don't forget to enter the competition or giveaway for the Aussie Sock Yarn and Notions, my favourite Notions. And... Follow me on Instagram, Instagram competition, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, one final thing. If you don't like it, stop knitting it. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.